Welcome back to the Mason Cable Night Show, everybody. I'm joined now by members of the Mason Improv Association, Keenan Gibson and Abby Harvey. Guys, how are you? Uh, doing fantastic. Fantastic. Today. How about you, Abby? Good. Good. So, for those that may have never heard of the Mason Improv Association, who are you guys and what do you do? The Mason Improv Association uh, is a long form improv troupe here on campus. We improvise storytelling, which means we make everything up on the spot, every action every word, everything that happens on the stage, completely made up. We do not know what is going to happen going into the show. Some weird stuff has happened. Are you given like a scenario or something at least? Or like a key word or phrase you have to incorporate in your performance? Yeah, we'll get a word from the audience. Mm -hmm. um, depending on what we want to do that night, sometimes we ask them, um, Oh, like, what's uh, your favorite thing at a pond? Or, <laughs> or um, we'll, like, ask them to read their text messages. But then what we do with that is we'll have, like, an opener where we can get our ideas from. Um, sometimes it's, like, building a scene through, like, a scene painting, or it's just organic movements and sounds that we do um, just based off the word. Yeah, and sometimes, depending on if it's a specific holiday or a specific time of the year, we might ask for something specific. Mm -hmm. Like on St. Patrick's Day, we might ask for, give us the craziest thing you saw <laughs> someone do at like a bar on St. Mm -hmm. Patty's Day, or like what happened at Thanksgiving this past year, things like that. So how important is chemistry when you're up there performing with your team? Mooey. So important. <laughs> it is very, very important. Uh, we have to have complete trust with each other, we have to work together, we have to be on the same page like mm -hmm. the entire time. Uh, everything is built on chemistry. What are practices like for you guys then? Because you have to form that chemistry somehow. Mm -hmm. um, it's fun, we'll, uh, we'll play together and uh, we also, we have like practices but we also take time to hang out mm -hmm. outside of practice. Um, you know. What do you guys do just for fun? Mm. Uh, we've, uh, we had that one <laughs> night where we like painted, we like did a bunch of paintings oh, together. Wow. Uh, we'll like go get dinner together, mm -hmm. just hang out, watch a movie, things like that. Face masks. Yeah. Face oh yeah, masks. there was a face mask thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah face masks. So it was just a lot of playing together. Mm -hmm. We become friends first and then an improv team. I can imagine that's like the most important thing. Yeah. Just to develop that bond with each other. So, what's the most memorable performance that you guys have had? Memorable performance? And you can take it one by one. All right. Um, well, ooh, there's, a, there's a few that like stand out. I think actually, believe it or not, the most recent show we did, uh, which was in the JC Cinema last month, late January, uh, that was probably one of my favorite improv mm -hmm. shows I've done with the Mason Improv Association. I've been on the team since my freshman year. Mm -hmm. I'm a senior now, so it's been four years. Wow. And uh, that was, I can say, one of the most fun shows we've done. It was high energy. There was uh, a lot of fun banter. We got super weird, <laughs> which is personally my favorite. Uh -huh. um, we got like super crazy and hectic, and it was uh, a lot of uh, passionate storytelling mm -hmm. as opposed to um, very gimmicky things things that are built on shtick and easy mm -hmm. laughs we like actually told stories that i think people would be interested in seeing and so it was a lot more fun than anything and some audience members didn't like it but i don't care <laughs> improv is more for us <laughs> what about you abby um on the mason improv association i think uh my favorite show i guess my answer is more selfish than keenan's but it was like one of the first shows i did mm -hmm. and um I like came on and no one really knew what we were doing, you know, I think we said that over and over. <laughs> um, Someone's like, okay, judge, enter the room, and no one really was like going to do it. So I got up and I did it. <laughs> I <remember> this. <laughs> and I was yeah. so scared and I was nervous, so I just like let that come out in my character. And it turned out that I was just like a little kid <laughs> who didn't know how to be a judge. <laughs> yeah, I I, I remember that. That was a really good scene. It was a lot of fun. So what's the secret to a good improv performance? Or is there no secret? You just go up there and do um, it? It is a lot of just getting up and doing it. Mm -hmm. um, we talked a lot about chemistry earlier. Mm -hmm. I think that is probably one of the most important things, uh, always listening and just going with the flow. Uh, sometimes you will throw an idea out there that doesn't make any sense in the scene. <laughs> But everyone else needs to be like, okay, uh, yes, mm -hmm. that just happened, and we're going to go with the punch. We're going to just roll we're gonna with, it. with it. We're going to like deal with it. Um, and sometimes an idea of yours might get shut down because mm -hmm. someone else presented something that everyone else went with, and you have to 
be the bigger person and just go with that idea and mm-hmm. be like, all right, let's do the scene. Let's do what's best for the scene so we can do good improv. How often do you hold performances? Is it like once a month? Um, we'll hold performances at Mason once a month, mm-hmm. um, but we try and do more performances a month at different locations in D.C. Mm-hmm. Um, or at other schools. Um, but yeah, once a month. Our next show is actually February 16th at 8 p.m. <laughs> in the J.C. Cinema. Fun. <laughs> what a plug. <laughs> <laughs> so where, you mentioned other locations. Where do you go in D.C. and other um, schools? We go to Dojo Comedy, um, which is a venue in D.C. We go to uh, the Source Theater because uh, Washington Improv Theater does a lot of stuff there. Um, we'll go to Georgetown University. Uh, what's that other one? George, George Washington. George Washington <laughs> University. <laughs> we, go, we go to a lot of different universities. Yeah. So, um, like, like, we're, like we've been invited uh, to universities out of state, but we usually get invited to Harvard. Um, there used to be a college in uh, Ohio that used to invite us um, all the time. We've signed up for several festivals, like the Charm City Comedy Festival in Baltimore, uh, Milwaukee Comedy Festival. We've sent in applications. Uh, we do stuff in New York. Over oh, the wow. summer, we try to do the Dell Close Marathon mm-hmm. um, every year, which uh, is uh, an improv marathon that lasts 72 hours. Oh, 70, yeah, it's like hours. three days. Yeah, and it's days. nonstop improv. Oh, my goodness. Oh, for 72 <laughs> hours. And MIA, the Mason Improv Association, mm-hmm. usually gets a slot. Um, That's awesome. At, during one of those times. How can people that might be interested in joining you guys sign up? Um, we have jams where the anyone is welcome to come, any experience level, just mm-hmm. as long as they're open to play and have mm-hmm. fun. Um, and that is act, the next one is in February as well. <laughs> you can follow our Facebook page if you want to. <laughs> um, uh, we hold our auditions at the beginning of the school year, mm-hmm. um, and you'll see like random like flyers and posters around the university for our jams. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you follow our Facebook page and um, I think our Twitter usually has some things on there every once in a while about uh, how to participate in these jams, when we're going to be doing shows, and most of the time at those shows you can talk to any of us to like get involved with mm-hmm. other improv opportunities uh, because all of us don't just do the Mason Improv Association. Some of us are on separate smaller indie teams or we do... Uh, professional teams in DC. Um, we've like formed like our own teams like within the group and just like play, like different styles and mm. formats. Uh, so if anyone's interested in getting involved in that, we can give them information for that. Thank you so much for being on here for the interview. And if you want to learn more about the Mason Improv Association, be sure to follow them on Facebook and Twitter respectively. And you guys brought along with you a fun little dating game to fit the Valentine's Day occasion. Mm -hmm. So when we come back, two more members of the association will be joining us and we'll be playing the Valentine's Dating Game.